let's be honest. Ending poverty isn't simple. In fact, it's really, really hard. So what do you do? A well won't do it. Seeds won't do it. And donating a goat? <laughs> Not a chance. Poverty isn't caused by the absence of things, it's caused by broken systems. Look, government systems to ensure that wells are drilled where they're needed the most, and that they're monitored and repaired so communities benefit from a reliable source of clean water. You know what I'm talking about. Market systems to ensure that farmers have a place to sell their crops, and have access to the products needed to grow more so they can lift themselves out of poverty. And like all the systems that we benefit from here in Canada, without even noticing, like the systems that give us our schools and teachers, or the ones that send electricity to our homes. So what can you do? How do you play a part in fixing such a big, overwhelming, complex problem? You run. Join countless Canadians in 13 cities from coast to coast in the Run to End Poverty, supporting engineers without borders and their work in Canada and Africa. Every step keeps an EW beer in Africa just a little bit longer, working with local partners to fix broken systems. Every stride educates another Canadian, helping them understand the role Canada plays in ending poverty. With each new runner that crosses the finish line, another idea is tested. It's refined and improved, impacting not one person, not one community, but thousands of people. That's the sort of impact systemic innovations create. And that's an impact you make when you lace up and participate in the run to end poverty. Look, we know poverty is complex and change is difficult, but the solution is not impossible. Signing up is easy. Run with friends, run with family. Together, let's gain some ground as we work to create lasting, meaningful change. Find your city and join the movement today at runtoendpoverty.ca